at Boston, please welcome Dr. Art Markman. human-centered values we should focus on, and many factors were brought to the fore, equitability, vibrancy, walkability, and much more. However, after extensive discussion, we decided to focus on three key values, how to care, enable, and vitalize. How do these values actually work in the context of a human-centered city? In terms of care, we believe that a city should care for its people by presenting visions and new opportunities. For example, providing training to the labor force to adapt to new technology, or pursuing inclusive and equitable services for all citizens. As for enable, a human-centered city should provide infrastructure and services that enable citizens to allocate more time to productive activities and to make smarter decisions. And technology will also benefit citizens by delivering data transparently and boosting quality time. And all of that empowers individuals to achieve their goals. What about bike life? Well, cities should have public spaces that vitalize connections between individuals. This connection could be based on common interests or the contents of the space, and therefore be best for a city to have a story or an activity for individuals to form a bond, a sense of belonging and an identity, all of which will help to build a lively community. So among these uh, three values, let's just focus on vitalize for now. Sure, sure. Well, so while all three values are essential to building a wholesome, human-centered society, Hyundai is exceptionally well positioned to vitalize communities with new forms of mobility. Well, then uh, could you elaborate more on that? Well, we may not notice it, but mobility can vitalize communities in a very natural and organic way. It can provide a place of mediation or enable different people to meet and interact. People can connect based on a common set of interests. Or the mobility service itself can provide spaces and contents for people to enjoy together. Mm. If these positive attributes are enhanced, urban residents will spontaneously form bonds, feel a greater sense of belonging, and that can help communities to develop identities and an improved sense of dialogue. Mm. So, based on the advice from the group, we have been developing mobility solutions that will act as catalysts in vitalizing communities in a meaningful and imaginative way. Before we move on any further, I want to thank you, Art, for you joining us and offering insightful comments. Thank you. My pleasure. Now, let me share you with our second project, which is this uh, Future City Scenarios. We created different archetypes to identify how these major urban centers will evolve and the solutions that would be suitable to address various mobility challenges. To give you an idea, there is one archetype that we call Legacy Leader. This archetype is characterized by a high degree of private sector innovation. A prime example would be San Francisco, where population is growing rapidly and overwhelming the existing mobility solutions and the infrastructure. And there is a clear need for new thinking. And our pioneering uh, smart solutions can help. Now let me show you a short clip of our solutions. Please enjoy.
short clip. Did you find it interesting? <laughs> Tomorrow, at our booth, you will see an ecosystem of smart mobility solutions. That will help vitalize the city. Urban air mobility, purpose-built vehicles, and a hub that connects the air to the ground and the people. San Francisco, as wonderful and vibrant as it is, will have to address certain pain points in the future. The city has been faced with urban sprawl and aging infrastructure. And this has led to decreasing community activities and tougher access to the infrastructure within the city. We can help address this problem with urban air mobility. San Francisco is also known for its traffic, prolonged driving time and for <coughs> transit time reduces our productivity. We can help address this problem with purpose-built vehicles. And while San Francisco has a wonderful feature, such as privately owned public open spaces, there is still much room for improvement. Our new hub will connect air and the ground-based mobility solutions while providing new public spaces that will further facilitate human interactions. These types of solutions will help alleviate some pain points of legacy leaders like San Francisco while maintaining its reputation for diverse and vibrant communities. I will now give the floor to our experts who will add more uh, flavors to each of these three solutions. Please give me a warm welcome to our Head of Urban Air Mobility Division, Dr. Jaewon Shin. Example, 
you will see that our SM1 has multiple rotors to ensure multi-layer redundancy. And if one fails, the other is take the over. It will also have a parachute deployment system for safe landing in an emergency. Do you know why commercial helicopter operations are banned in most urban centers? Yeah. Well, the primary issue is noise. <laughs> so to provide on-demand on urban air mobility at scale, noise must be at an acceptable level for communities. The SA-1 will be much quieter than conventional helicopters with smaller and multiple rotors rotating <laughs> at much slower speeds than the main rotor of a typical helicopter. A quiet cabin is equally important for passenger comfort. The SA-1 will achieve external and internal noise levels that are much lower than what is just simply acceptable to communities and passengers. Wow, now is this urban aviation something that can ever be enjoyed by the masses? Yes, I already mentioned that UAM will bring democratization of flight. This means that the overall cost to produce and operate UAM vehicles should be really low enough for everyone to enjoy the freedom to fly. There are currently about 25,000 commercial airplanes flying around the world. The UAM community, we believe that the sector will well exceed this number once it matures fully. At Hyundai, we know how to mass produce high quality vehicles with cost efficiency and reliability, which is a key enabler for reducing overall operating costs. We are confident that our experience and insight as mass producer of our vehicles will give us a significant advantage to achieve affordability of our UAM vehicles. Hyundai's human-centered mission will carry on in our passenger-centered UAM development. We will integrate our industry expertise in cabin design, vehicle dynamics, and custom comfort to ensure an enjoyable, safe, and convenient means of air travel. Now, I would like to invite all of you to our CES booth to experience what it would be like to sit inside our SA-1 via virtual reality. So, the question, J-1, remains, is Hyundai going to develop with this urban air mobility strategy? Well, certainly not. While we are extremely confident that we can become a major market force in the UAM community, we want to collaborate and build strategic partnerships with other key players. To build such a partnership, we've been working with a global leader in this sector, Uber LMA. Now, I'd like to welcome my good friend, Dr. Eric Ellison, head of Uber LMA, for him to share his thoughts about our shared vision. Eric? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you, Laura. Great to see you, Dr. Shen. Well, Eric, we are so excited to announce this partnership today because Uber is a brand known around the world, but taxi rides are just one part of it. Indeed. Our platform is actually becoming the operating system of cities all around the world. We exist to help you move. Since Uber's founding nearly 10 years ago, we've been relentlessly building technology to connect everyone to the mobility they demand. Today, Uber's app can serve you a ride in minutes, unlock a nearby electric bike or a scooter, and as of this morning, you can use Uber Transit to ride the Deuce, operated by RPC right here in Las Vegas. And with Uber Elevate, you are taking things to another level, quite. Well, Uber Elevate has spent the last three years working on what we think is the next evolution of transportation, weaving everyday flight of people and things into the Uber platform. And this year at CES, we're excited to announce with Hyundai a major step forward in that vision of taking Uber's technology into the sky. Our core insight is simple. People in large cities face major problems due to congestion. 
by taking transportation out of the two-dimensional grid on the ground and moving it into the sky, we can offer significant time savings to our riders. So since that time, we've been making steady progress towards a goal of launching Uber Air by 2023. An ambitious timeline will be possible by combining what has made Uber successful on the ground with cutting edge new innovations that enable safe, quiet, and green aerial mobility in the sky. Our technology platform is at the center of this future aerial ride sharing ecosystem. Only Uber can seamlessly connect riders from cars, trains, and even bikes to air taxis. And only Uber has the massive demand necessary to build large scale and efficient networks. Okay, so Eric, maybe uh, perhaps you can share how Hyundai and Uber came to work together. Well, we're not an aircraft manufacturing company, and we have no intention of becoming one. Our ecosystem model is based on collaboration with best-in-class companies like Hyundai, who will ultimately manufacture the safe, reliable, high-quality Uber Air taxis that we'll deploy on our platform. And that's why we are thrilled to be announcing this partnership today. Hyundai is Uber Elevate's first vehicle partner with capabilities to manufacture at automotive scale. And we believe Hyundai has the potential to build Uber Air taxis at rates not possible in the current aerospace industry. Building on their investments in mass market all electric vehicles, Hyundai's manufacturing muscle combined with Uber's technology platform presents a giant leap forward for launching air taxis at global scale. As we announce this partnership, we are excited to unveil Hyundai's first vision of a new air taxi, which will be on display, uh, as Dr. Shin said, at CES starting tomorrow. So what do you think of the SA1? Well, I, I like it a lot. Hyundai has developed a bold new design, optimized for the Uber Elevate mission, and we're really excited to see that their approach builds on many of the innovative design concepts that we've explored at Elevate and released publicly to show the potential of distributed electric propulsion. And this is particularly fitting because openly releasing reference designs to spur collaboration and spur innovation is a play we learned from NASA, as you know well. So, what comes next? So, as we progress our partnership over the coming years, Hyundai's <laughs> investments in vehicle and manufacturing technology will be a perfect complement to Uber's investments in airspace management, skyports, and the rideshare platform itself. The final version of the vehicle revealed here will be produced at automotive scale, and when deployed into our shared ecosystem, we expect it to achieve quiet, safe, reliable, and efficient performance in markets all around the world. UAM represents an innovation in mobility. To really experience this, the people must have easy access to UAM. So, we completely redesigned the concept of mobility to offer seamless mobility. Our new concept, PVV, the SNC, they embody Honda's human centric value as one of our many mobility solutions. In design, the SNC, we focus on three key concepts City Icon, the living space on wheels and cluster mobility. Let me take you through each of these concepts. The first, the city icon. We want the SLA to become a city icon, just like San Francisco's iconic cable houses. The progressive, the reinterpretation of the DNA, incorporation into urban scener a scenery the make S links the design come to life and make us feel connected to the way we get around. The second is the living space on wheels. PVVs are highly versatile and the under and upper body can each be tailored to individual needs. The underbody can expand from four to six meters the wild upper body can be assembled to the demand using modular parts. The modular nature of the body means that PVV can transform into the mobility of your choice. Let's say home delivery vehicle, a mobile restaurant, or even a medical clinic. By accommodating diversity in life, as linked guide us towards a more refined lifestyle. 
let's say we need medical attention. Can ready to skip the long lines by having some of the tests and the treatments conducted in the comfort of your escalator on the route to the doctor's office. The third key concept is the cluster reality. We observe insects such as the ants the traveling into the formation of large roads. Likewise, a group of autonomous PVBs <laughs> traveling together can self-navigate to the best route. For incident, luggage carrier PVB can travel behind the passenger unit while maintaining safe distance and formation. And the artificial intelligence of PVBs also allow in transit charging through the charger PVDs. Now, let's talk about what happens when you bring multiple PVDs together into one place. We call this place the S-Hub. The S-Hub has the potential to create an entirely new community depending on how PVDs are connected. For instance, if you connect PVDs functioning as a coffee shop and retail store, we have shopping IP. The connect doctor's office, labs, and pharmacy, and we have professional medical center. PBB and HUB can even help addressing major urban issues like housing crisis by offering an alternate residential space to those in need of home. PBB and HOP are not just mobility solutions, but the platforms for the new lifestyle in the future cities. Hyundai, we believe in the power of the design to bring the real meaning and the emotional value to people. And I believe these new designs have the power to vitalize the city by providing the space where people can share interactions and truly connect. I hope you will join us in this exciting future. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Same young lady. Thank you. Well now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to invite our last speaker to the stage. Please welcome the Executive Vice Chairman of Hyundai Motor Group, Uisan Chang. Welcome. Welcome, Uisan. So we heard about three new mobility solutions from Hyundai today. <coughs> yes, uh, today we have shown you our future vision through uh, three new smart mobility solutions, UAM, PDB, and HUB. Uh, before that, I, I, I'd like to apologize. We didn't prepare enough seats, so uh, <laughs> maybe next time we'll prepare more. It's just that exciting. Okay, yeah. Uh, this solution uh, built on Hyundai's automotive strengths and take us into a new chapter on future mobility. Urban air mobility will expand horizons by dramatically reducing transit time and redefine urban boundaries. Pur uh, Purpose-built vehicles will reinvent transit time and to more productive and meaningful time that people can spend to pursue their goals. Uh, the hub will connect the ground to air create new space that accommodate all life size. You know, so Uisan, what can we expect after all this today from Hyundai going forward? Yeah, uh, well, what we've seen here today is only a glimpse of what Hyundai will offer in the days to come. As we transform into a smart mobility solutions provider, you will hear a lot more about innovative uh, devices and services from Hyundai. One of the key data drivers uh, enabling our goal is collaboration uh, with industry leaders. 
that is why we uh, work uh, to work with a world class company like Uber uh, for a few years. And we will continue to partner with the top players from various fields under the spirit of open innovation. It's important to uh, remember that what we are doing is greater than us. At the end of the day, our work is all about making progress. And yes, indeed, that progress for humanity is what we heard about as far as Hyundai's legacy earlier today. Yeah, the evolution of mobility is about <coughs> creating quality time to enrich people's lives. We want to shape a future where cities are vitalized with the help of our mobility solutions. We want to bring the joint in people's lives by connecting people in meaningful ways and liberating them from limitations. CS 2020 is only the beginning. Uh, please stay tuned uh, as we continue our legacy of progress for humanity. Thank you very much. Thank you, Yuri Sun. And thank you all. Thank you all for your attention today. This year, the Hyundai booth is located at the Las Vegas Convention Center, North Hall, number 5431.